Um, hi, what can you tell us about the Zahra experience so far? For me, it's, it's always a privilege to come back to the stud and to see it. I haven't had a chance to look around the horses yet, um, but there have been one or two I've seen in the paddock that looked delightful. Holder? Uh, to come to Zahra is a traditional feeling because when I was a boy, I had a pony and this father was born here in Al -Zara. his name was Gazal. So my heart is every time with Al -Zara. And I had the chance to go on Fridays to the stables and I see some very, very beautiful horses. What do you think about um, the quality of the participating horses so far? You've been judging the international show, correct? What can you I tell think, us about I think the quality? The quality has been mixed. There have been some nice horses, some pretty horses, and good moving horses. But at the lower end, it does tail away. It's not so strong. Um, and for an international show, I would have to say the quality is average, perhaps a little below average. But there are some nice horses there too. Sure. Okay, we have to judge a B show, it's not a C show. In the quality for the B show, 60%, I fear, is not good enough to participate for the international B show. They are more quality like a C show, but it's always to see some very beautiful horses, so that makes us very happy. But I think the future for the is there anything else you'd like to add? No, it's always a, a privilege to come back here because my parents bought two horses from here many, many years ago, probably about 35 years ago. So it's like coming back to the birthplace of our original Egyptian horses. I've been on a private step this morning. They have no horses here to show, so I have to go to the show. When you see other horses which are not in the show, then you know the future of the breeding in Egypt will be great. Thank you.